Hello, this is Pastor Roland. A lady emailed me and asked me about um, predestination, you know, Calvinism, and about open theology, which is kind of the op which kind of says that uh, something new uh, says that um, things are more flexible, and so on. She said, you know. Um, is there something in the middle? They both sound kind of extreme. She wanted my thoughts. Well, here's what I'd have to, here's what I have to say. First of all, I don't have a problem with uh, predestination. Paul says that uh, God uh, foreknew things, and predestined things, and preordained things. Um, it's quite clear that uh, that's what he's saying. And some people are destined to be saved and others are not. You know, take a look at Pharaoh. God, Pharaoh was destined to be destroyed. God used him. God used Pharaoh. On the other hand, and then, you know, uh, Christ um, told in advance what was going to happen to uh, Jerusalem, the destruction of the temple, and so on. So these things are known, and I don't have a problem with it. I kind of like the idea that God knows what's going to happen. It, comfort, it comforts me. Some people don't like it, especially those people who don't think they're the ones that are among the saved, for example. They don't like it at all. But uh, it comforts me. On the other hand, there is free will. Um, there is liberty and love. I think Paul used that term. Um, so what it boils down to is that mo most people are not free. Most people, see, we're born in sin. We're born with egos, with a kernel of pride. We're born with fallen natures. And so we, uh, we compulsively go for the wrong thing. You know, if you offer a child a, a nice carrot and a candy, he'll go for the candy. See what I mean? Women choose the wrong men, and men choose the wrong women. We, we do everything all wrong. We just compulsively choose the wrong thing, the sinful thing, the concupiscent thing, the naughty thing, the exciting thing. See what I mean? Well, even though we have conflict over it, some of us don't want, we really don't want to, but we do anyway. Well, but so what is, what is um, salvation all about? Part of what salvation is all about is to be set free from that, set free from the compulsion to sin, the compulsion to err the compulsion to believe liars by believing into, tr into truth, believing into Christ, see, then we are saved. And after we're saved, you could, you could say that we're, we don't have freedom then either because we're saved. There, there is no falling away from salvation. So you see, it's this wonderful thing. There is a freedom to choose, and we all sense that we do. There is, see, if you were to find salvation, if you were to find the, the, myst, the mystical way to r repent of your wrongs and have a change of heart, see, then you would find yourself uh, gravitating toward the good things, the pure things, the noble things. You'd find yourself doing, naturally doing what's right, naturally doing good. See, whereas before, all you could do was naturally do wrong. See? So it's quite the mystery, and yet it's not such a mystery. It's simple. It's explained, in, it's explained very well in the Bible, and I, I, I understand it. It's for you to find out and experience the freedom of, 